Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. So today we're going to go and do some gas mining. So let's first of all go and fly to the nearest gas planet. In fact there's only one I've found. So let's get on with that. So the one we've found, the set planet, is, is called Sol 3, this one here. In fact it's on the outskirts here and it's sort of bluey. It doesn't tell you very much in here. It says relative density, earth mass and atmospheric pressure. But it looks slightly different. So let's let's just warp our way over there because it's not that far. The same solar system. And while, we, while that's warping away, let's put my helmet back on. would be a good idea before I go outside, wouldn't it? And also clean up my inventory because I didn't do that from last time. Uh, let's get rid of that's wrong one. I want to go to number right click number nine and get rid of these. I think that's all I need to get rid of and sort my inventory again and then have a look at. I think no, it's in here. It's in this bag here, that's what I need. All right, I'm messing around a bit. So what we need is several things. We need a gas intake. We need a tank, and they should also be in here. I'm having difficulty seeing them. We need some rocket motors. We need four of these for a start. I don't see my tanks. I must have put them somewhere special. Oh, I'll have, yes, there they are, look. Pressurized tanks. We'll only use one. And we'll take two motors. I need another uh, one of these. That's it, four. And that's all we're going to use to build this rocket. And we're going to go and do hydrogen, I think, this time. I've already done nitrogen and oxygen, which I haven't shown you, but it doesn't matter that much because it's all the same stuff. So I'll put down the two motors. So I'm going to just build it in a simple configuration. I can reach this like that, and I'll put it like that and that. And then in the middle of these two, I'm going to put, well, not in the middle of those, I'm going to put some gas tanks, uh, some fuel tanks next. In fact, I actually don't need to do those like that. Oh, it doesn't matter very much. It'll have plenty of fuel, whatever we do. We put a pressurized tank in the middle, like that. And then we're also going to put the gas intake here. And that's all we need to do. We need to fuel it up, of course. That's a bit of a big jump. I couldn't change the gravity. So we can now scan this like that. It scans fairly quickly, as you saw. And then it's everything's green, so we're clear for liftoff. And we can build this here. And as you look, we watch it, it changes shape. So now the rockets are actually pointing in the correct direction. The tanks don't change, they still point upwards. But if we come over here to the biome scanner, and right click this, it goes. No, yeah, gassy, isn't it? Ain't it? So we know it's a gas. It's definitely a gas giant, this one. So you can't fly here. So now we need to fuel this up and launch it. So let's have a look. I don't think it's got fuel in. Let me just get a bit nearer and right click it. Not near enough. Oh, it is fueled up. Right. Okay, good. It's fueled up because I linked the. Um, the the fueling station from here into the unmanned vehicle assembler. And I did the same here as well, so I should be able to launch it. So let's launch it and see what happens. Yes, there it goes. And this will take around about 10 minutes. It takes a few seconds to go down like that. Actually, it's quite cool, this thing. And then it goes off. starts the engines when it drops down a bit if you actually happen to have two rockets what happens is they stack vertically there we go off it goes like that and now it's going to go and collect gas oh i forgot to turn change the type darnation never mind so now we can actually come back here and you can see what it's doing so it's going to take 10 minutes and 30 seconds while that's happening you can actually leave this dimension but for the sake of it, let's go downstairs. I think it's gone off in 
one of these directions. I think it went off in this direction over here. But while we're doing that, let's have a look at the two quests we completed last time. We completed gold and we also completed a lightwood sapling. So let's have a look at those. See, now gold is completed. So I'm going to get a 500 XP reward. Oh, and I've got a choice. Well, mm -hmm. actually, let's take the tanks for a change. Claim that. I've got plenty of storage units. Don't really need those anymore. And claim that. Yes, we have become quite rich and done that one. So that's now complete. Iron was complete, sand is complete. This one's on its way. This one, yeah, it's half complete. We have to do it slightly differently, that one. Diamonds and lapis. They're both actually done. So we don't know how thing they are. Well, this one, we need 20,000 blocks of diamonds. So let's have a look at what we've got for diamonds in here. We've got 16,000. Oh, it's not quite finished yet. Oh, okay. I have to go and fix that because I've changed it to lapis. And let's have a look at the lapis quest while we're thinking about it. Ah, oh, we don't see what we've got in here. But the lapis quest, if I remember that, is 100,000 blocks of lapis. Oh, you get all sorts of things in here too. A rainbow generator. Well, I know exactly what I'm going to take from that lot. Because I've already built a rainbow generator. Um... Let's go done, and the lapis block is actually 100,000 blocks of lapis. But they're all getting fed into the um, storage unit, the quantum storage unit. So that's... That was actually those two... Well, that's one of the quests, wasn't it? We have done the other quest, of course, done. And that was Moving Worlds. So we've got unclaimed rewards here. And we've got some... No, I get an item reward, so that's fine, and not really... Dragon's Beth cartridge is nothing to claim. Just claim that. So I get six loot chests. That's going to be a bit full. So I'm going to have to put these away somewhere. Let's put them in here. I've got bits and pieces in here. Some actually very good rewards I've got just recently from the other quests. In fact, let's just... I'm going to move these up manually, so I'm going to put them back in again. So that was a reward, wasn't it? Okay, let's take these six chests down. Oops, wrong way. Do it like this. And let's see what, what we get for those. Epic Emerald Door. Semi-epic. I suppose that's the resources one. It'll be good because it'll fill up my inventory. So let's just clear that out. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. Capacitor bank, epic. Again, the five million and the three and a half million capacity. So we got the compressed one, semi-epic. Legendary two alloy smelters, and the apples. So also that stuff. Unfortunately, got the placeholder one there. We got last time with the with the fifty loot chests from doing the Nether stars, but I to be honest with you, nothing to complain about with that lot really. They're pretty good rewards, aren't they? Also forgot in there that I don't want. Capacitor bank I'll keep with me, I think. And let's take our stuff back again. I think that's everything I want from here. I'll take the torch with me as well. I press R and it'll sort things back into place. And I've got 500 XP. So, right, let's have a quick go back upstairs again and have another look at this and see how it's doing. I want. So, we've got another five minutes. So what I've done here is I've got a an iron drum. In this iron drum, let's have a look. We've got 64,000 millibuckets of oxygen, 64 buckets of oxygen in there. And here, I've already got, excuse me a bit, I'm having a bit of a cough. That's 64 
Right. That's about it. That's 64 nitrogen, and this is 256 nitrogen. And that's the default. And I didn't change it, which was a bit silly of me. So what I'm going to do is put the nitrogen down here. And I'm using the liquid pipe from Advanced Rocketry. And this is set to on. I'll turn that off, actually, so we can see what's going on here. And we've got the rocket fuel unloader. Now that should be linked again to this. So just to make sure it is linked to that, let's just take uh, another um, linker and right click, just right click that. So that's liquid fluid unloader linked to the assembly here, to the uh, vehicle, unmanned vehicle assembly. It says it's linked successfully. So that means when anything is, any rocket appears here, on here it will take it unload it automatically that's one of the ways you can sort of create a, sh a shuttle yep not too far away I'll tell you what I'll do I shall pause the video here and wait until we're actually finished right just about finished as you can see and then the rocket should return so another seven seconds and it's finished its mining mission so we'll look outside Let's see if we can see the rocket returning. And here it comes. And it will then float along here, as you can see. It's sort of... Interestingly, it actually comes in the same direction. So then it rises up. Like that. And then it should land in its same place as it took off. And if we now look at this block here, we should see this to be filling up. I'm hoping it's filling up anyway, because it should be linked to that rocket. If it's not linked to the rocket, I might have to do it just manually and do that. So if I right, shift right click the rocket now, we can have a look in this pressurized tank. And it's, as you see, it's 64,000 millibuckets of um, nitrogen. And I forgot to change it. I wanted to change it. So maybe I just have to relink re it again. So shift right click that on there. And then right click the rocket. Link successfully. And now we should see liquid coming into here. As you can see. This is actually turned off. The switch is off. So there's nothing coming into the nitrogen tank. Which is this one. At the moment. But as soon as we turn it on. Like that. It should start to pump out. But these have to be enabled as well. So let's just have a quick check here. See, it is actually filling up now. As you can see at the bottom here, it's going up. And this will then be emptying out in here. So let's have a shift click on this one. In fact, it's already gone. And this is basically being pumped into here. So what we now have to do, I want to send this rocket off again. So I have to shift right click this again. But if I try to say set this to oxygen, which is what I should have done in the first place. Let's just double, sorry, I didn't check whether the fuel was loaded up on that. It's not fueled up. So let's take the linker again and see if I can fuel it up again. So I shift right click that on there and that on there. I think that's the way I do it. That on there and then that on there. And it should be all linked up. I think this bit's a little bit buggy at the moment so right click this so that's actually fueled up now if I try to launch the rocket it doesn't work so I click launch here nothing happens so what do you have to do to work around that is to simply right shift right click this and disassemble it like that now it's assembled you see now we've got liquid blocks in here so we come back to here, we scan it again, which doesn't take very long because it's just a tiny little rocket really, and then we can build it. And what I wanted to do last time was come along here, and it should not be filled up. So I should, yes, it's fueling itself up correctly this time, that's good. And you see here we've got nitrogen. So let's say, and we want to go and get some hydrogen this time. Okay, we select hydrogen here, and then we send it off again. So now it will launch, as you can see. That is, it's quite good fun to actually go and look at this from inside as well, because we can see this through the windows. There it goes, look.
and it will go up a bit higher so we can st still see it goes to its bottom place and then launches and off it's go now this time it'll go and get hydrogen so we can go back upstairs and check it so that's the control this here isn't it so you see it's now progress 10 minutes to go but what I need to do is to get another tank. So I haven't got enough tanks in here. And I haven't got enough fuel for that matter. Let's just get another tank. Um, I think in here I've got another fuel pipe. That's data cable, energy liquid cable. And these are also very cheap. Look at the recipe for this. It's basically one copper sheet, which is one piece of copper being through the running machine twice. We'll produce 32 liquid pipes with some clay. So they're really quite cheap parts. So we just put that down like that. So we need another drum. Let's quickly make another drum. Oh, wrong. I'm going to make an iron drum, of course, because I don't want to make a stone drum because it's not uh, upgradable. And I think I need to make some more plates. So look what I need. Yes, I need some more plates. Let's do that like this. One, two. Make a spare a couple of spare ones just in case I need another drum at some stage. Of course, I could use the quantum um, tank. We just actually let's do that. In fact, let's use the quantum tank. It's in that chest. Uh, <laughs> of course, I go the wrong way around. Here we got these quantum tanks. We could replace the drums for those quantum tanks. Let's go the, the quick way around this time. I think this will work. Something actually I obviously haven't tried because I've not had these before. If we put that down there, it has connected, which is grand. And you can see the the capacity of this is. I'm not sure I can read that as a number it looks like it's 53 million millibuckets it's quite a, big, a large number of a large amount of fluid anyway so this will now come is on the way and because this these two tanks are already filled up so this one has got in it it doesn't tell me to click it huh? that's oxygen it's got 96 and this has got uh, 96 hydrogen. Nitrogen? Huh? Ah, I think that's wrong. I think it makes nitrogen from the previous one to this, because that was 32 plus 32. Interesting. Right, what I'm going to do in that case is to remove these two, because it shouldn't have done that. A, a weeny little bit of a bug, isn't it? So let's put them down here. That's the nitrogen one I put down here. And this is oxygen. So we can put that down over here, or the other oxygen tank. Most strange, oops, sorry, press the escape. I can always fill myself with oxygen, can't I, when I'm here. So now we shall simply wait until this is finished. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Right, 20 se 15 seconds to go about now, so let's have a quick look outside again. Uh, see our rocket returning, this time it should be full of oxygen. But it comes fairly quickly, doesn't it, from when it's actually finished its mission, it should return back. And here it comes. Now, the thing about this is for each of those tanks that we put on there, so let's have a look at this. Um, it's in this bag, isn't it? For each of these tanks, it, which is 64 buckets, it actually takes around about 10 minutes so I'm only using one tank for this purpose if I was going to go and do lots and lots then it would be different wouldn't it so let's have a look at the bit near the rocket now we'll see this is full of hydrogen and we can then empty that out we have to link it again now it should have worked if I link that to there shouldn't it so if I link that to here and then to here it should have pulled the stuff in so let's have a look 
and it has this time as you can see that's full and this one should be if not empty already it's going down fairly fast but of course the mod for this mod is still a, is still in alpha so there are bound to be some problems in here as you can see we should have when this is when this is emptied out we should have 64 buckets in here so what have we got here 40, 48 buckets 48.1 should actually does it not increase when I look at it is that still going in I just difficult to know to be honest it seems to be stuck is that on let's turn it on make sure it's actually piping in yes there we go so there we go 63 64k so there are 64 buckets of hydrogen this will now be empty and the rocket will be also empty and it just needs to be dismantled rebuilt and sent off again so well i hope you enjoyed that it was it's actually been really good fun to do the advanced rocketry stuff there is one more thing which is actually new in this particular version and we'll do that next time so until then bye for now